where I am. I'm here on Facebook. And uh, I was supposed to be on YouTube. Uh, the reason why I'm not on YouTube is because you need 1,000 subscribers before you can stream live on YouTube. So that means I need 850 more of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Yogi Cecily. It's going well. People are getting on there and subscribing. I really appreciate that. But let's come on. Let's just get me to 1,000. And then I can just be live with you, okay? Now what I'm going to do is if for some reason you are on Facebook and you are with me right now, what I'm going to do is immediately following this, I'm going to put it on YouTube. So for the YouTube folks out there, you're going to see it on YouTube. You're going to see it at 1.15 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right? So I apologize for that, but here we are. Let's get this practice going. As usual, I have right foot on top of left or in front and let's place the palms down on the cap of the knees. Draw the chin to the chest, belly button to the spine, and sit strongly. Sit strongly and focus, people. There is a lot going on. Take a few breaths through your nose, concentrate. And hear that good, good, good ujjayi breath. Take two more. And one more. Good. Let's switch the feet. Yeah. So a lot going on. Uh, there's a lot of kind of black and white dissension going on. Who's doing the right things? Who knows what to do? Who's in charge? You're in charge. And you always have been. Yeah. Three breaths here. One. One more breath, three. Wonderful. Let's today bring our hands together in prayer. I want to do the Gayatri chant in the beginning. The Gayatri chant is always saying, whatever laws rule the entire universe, may the knowledge of those laws come to me so that I know how to handle myself appropriately. Om Bhubhuva Svaha Tat Savitur Varenyu Bhargo Devasya Dimmahi Diyo Yo Na Prachodariya In greeting we say Namaste. Come on up, all right, I wanna get going today with face to the right side, downward facing dog, pedal pushers. Go ahead, lengthen out your legs, press the heels down, lengthen the back of the knees, you wanna get that beautiful long straight leg in the back. Five pedal pushers, inhale, exhale, one, yes, 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 and two, and three, and four, Give me one more there is the five. Go to a rolling wave next. You're going to lift up on your toes, rock forward. Bend the knees, big toes together, knees wide. Exhale back, child's pose. Work with me, come back up. Arch the back, look up, inhale, press back through your feet here in downward dog. Love it, live it. Rolling wave. Look at the toes. I come up on the toes, tuck the tailbone, roll the way forward. Come on down, drop the knees, arch the back. Inhale, exhale, roll it back, way back, way back. One more time, inhaling, exhaling, back, 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 back. Good. And to the child's pose, roll, roll, forward, round back. Drop the knees, arch back. Inhale, take it back. It's a beautiful thing. Back to downward facing dog, we're gonna go. Inhale and exhale. All right. Well, go ahead, let's do a twisted dog. Yeah, your right hand is gonna go to your left foot. You're gonna twist towards me. Hi. Hi there, yeah, 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 it's true, here we are. This is a Saturday, flow mop. 
usually on Tuesdays and Saturdays, I just I, I make it a little bit rough, uh, harder, rougher. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and switch hands. And I think this entire last week, I was like, let's just build heat, build heat. Come on, let's get our usual fire burning. And I like that. Let's come back, switch hands again, once more each side. Well, when we flow with speed, uh, where we're trying to build a fire, trying to fan a fire, yeah? Some things get a little out of control, and more often than not, let's change hands again, more often than not, what you do is you lose mindfulness. So there's a sacrifice. We talk about mindfulness in flow yoga. We want that, but I, I like to be honest. You know, when you're really moving quickly and panting, it's very hard to, uh, to move, hold your thoughts back. Let's go into forward fold. Please look halfway up, inhaling. Exhale back, down, down, down. I'm gonna turn my fingertips back, chin to chest, belly button to the spine. Walk out to plank, sure, just the plank, just the plank, inhale. And back to downward facing dog, pedal pushers. So there you are, you're building a fire, you're just throwing logs on, just oh, throwing the logs on the fire and you're fanning it and your breath is accelerating and your body is getting hot, you're loving it. But where's the mindfulness? You have to remember, mindfulness has to stay a little bit behind so that you can examine what's going. So mindfulness, is a little bit behind or off to the sides and is monitoring how many logs go on. Look halfway up, inhaling. Exhale, press back down, down, forward fold, way down. Walk out to plank and use your inhale. It's a very mindful inhale. And then press back, exhale, very mindful exhale. Wonderful. Bend your knees to all fours. Step your right foot forward, lunge, inhale, sweep the arms up, low crescent. Exhale, hands down, step back to downward facing dog, yay. Bend your knees, check it out, bend your knees, who cares, come on down, step your left foot forward. Low crescent, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. And I want to do this once more each leg, please bend your knees first. That's the mindfulness. Then step the right foot forward. It feels different. Then go into your low crescent. You love it. Use the buttocks. The buttocks is sending energy forward, downward facing dog. Great. Bend your knees down, down, down. Step your left foot forward. Yes, yes, yes. Low crescent lunge. So good. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful, beautiful. Walk your hands back to your feet. Look halfway up, inhale, exhale, back down, forward fold. This time I'm holding on to the calves and drawing down. So good, so good. Walk your hands halfway forward. It is not downward dog. If you need a block to accept this position, you, you probably will need the block. Flat hands, flat feet. Take your right leg up and punch the sky. Up, up. Hello, up, don't stop, don't stop. So what this is doing, it's gonna open your left hamstring. Up, up, and it's gonna firm your right buttocks. Up, 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 keep it going now. Up, 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 you are not in downward dog. Up, look, I can walk my hands all the way back. So it's flat foot, flat hands. Up, up, give me eight more, eight, and things, all this whole rear chain, seven, Six, five, should be burning. Four, three, two, one, straighten your right leg. I don't mind if you rotate a little bit. Hold on to your left leg, draw down, standing splits. Five, standing splits. Four, try, try to kiss your left knee. Three, come on, way down, balance. Two, balance, and one, feet down. What? Walk your hands out to plank, inhaling. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right now, walk your hands back to your feet, long legs. 
Look halfway up flat back, which is a movement of your ribs. Exhale back down, down. Belly button to the spine, chin to the chest, turn your palms back. Then hold on to the calves and the ankles and draw down. Stretch down. Okay, walk halfway out. See, look where I am. This is not downward dog. Take your left leg up and punch the sky. Up, up, mm -hmm. up, up. Now remember, up, if you're just finding me on Facebook, up, yes. We had some technicalities, some issues. Up, up, and you cannot get on to YouTube live streaming until you have a thousand subscribers up so i need 80 percent more people to subscribe and that's a lot up 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 16 more up 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 so that's part of the mindfulness of today up eight more eight we're all scrambling seven six five so we're all learning four three two and one Straighten out the left leg. I don't mind if you rotate. Now you're going to have to get your right hand behind your right calf and your right ankle. Get your left hand out in front of you. Pull down. Reach up. Five. Four. How are you going to get your face down? Three. To your right leg. Two. How are you going to get your face down? Down, down, down. And one. What? Holy smokes. <laughs> Walk out. Plank. Inhale. Down dog, exhale. Now that's a mindful fire. You know, I put the fire just right where I want it. That's what I call mindful fire. Great. Bend your knees to all fours, look towards me. Modify side plank. Mm -hmm. Good. Lift up, inhale, round it off. Exhale, downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Bend your knees to all fours, we've got to go the other way. Turn away from me, modify, side plank. Mm -hmm. Reach out, now roll and round it down. Let's blow this. Downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Bend the knees to the mat, inhale, modified side plank. Exhale, roll it down, inhale, exhale. Bend your knees, modified side plank, roll, roll. Rolling, and downward dog. One more each side. Bend your knees, turn towards me. Rolling, send your hips forward, ribs back, see the sky. Downward dog, inhale, exhale. Bend your knees, extend it out. Hips forward, ribs back, roll the body, inhale. Downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Love it, live it. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bring your big toes together, ankles together. Ut katasana, the chair pose. Nice and easy, no big deal. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Well, look halfway up, inhaling. Go ahead, take the stretch down, hands on the back of the calves and the ankles, draw down. Walk out to plank. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From the plank position, please, draw the knee to the nose, four times right knee. So from the plank, hips are low. One, two, three, four, Five, downward facing dog. Breathing, breathing. Walk your hands back to your feet, big toes together, ankles together. Nice, easy, chair pose. Ooh, katasana, nice, easy. Lift up five, four. Yes, yes, belly button is fine, tailbone drop. Three, don't worry how high your hands go, right on. Two, and one, forward fold. Walk out to plank it from the plank position, not the downward dog, from the plank position. Draw your knee to your nose, see, so one, and out, two, out, three, breathe, four,
four, exhale, breathe, and five. Sure, walk your hands back to your feet. Great, great, great. I'm gonna step in a bit, then squat on toes. Ha, huh. squat on your toes. You know what's coming. The crow pose, Utkatasana, or sorry, Bakasana. Five, crow pose. Four, three, two, and one. Straight legs, forward fold. Nice. Mm -hmm. Please walk out to plank, inhale, and downward facing dog. Your right leg goes high to the sky, and we're drawing circles. I'm just gonna call these Tim circles now. <laughs> I never really thought about it. So you're drawing circles in the sky. Lift the knee. It's, it, you need the knee to come down so it can work its way up. Reverse your circle. Four, three, yes, two, yes, and one. Step your right foot forward, lunge, and straighten out both legs. Hamstring stretches, lift up. Ha, huh. all right. So wonderful, last night I had a Dharma talk with Christopher Watros. Um, not a lot of people. Seems like everybody's jumping on for their workouts and I really do like that. I really do appreciate that we are exercising. We're doing asana, vinyasa flow. Had my alignment class on Instagram live yesterday. You can still get that. You got until 1 p.m. Pacific time to go onto my Instagram and get that in the stories. That story is gonna be gone in a few hours. In one hour. Yep. So walk your feet in, you're squatting on your toes. Come on now, you know what's coming. You gotta do this cycle again, crow pose, bakasana. Yep, they get the knees way, way on top, back of the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, you gotta squeeze the feet up, and one, great, straight legs, forward fold. Nice, nice, walk out to downward facing dog, and it's the left leg is going to make the big circles. Go ahead and lift it high. I don't mind if you rotate. Listen carefully. You can rotate but not slice. So this is rotating. This is slicing. So rotate the leg. Sure. Let's reverse your circles. But careful not to slice. So the way not to slice is to keep your ribs and your shoulders square. All right. Good, good, good. Feet down. Wonderful. Step the left foot forward, lunge. Uh huh. Step your feet together, forward fold. Nice. Look halfway up, inhale. Press back down, exhale. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Prayer position. Three rounds of Ashtanga Vinyasa sun salutes in the B formula. See, I'm pulling up my pants like, like a cowgirl. Get myself ready. Get yourself ready. I love the seriousness of Ashtanga Vinyasa. Hands in prayer. Utkatasana. Breathe. Five. Stand up, inhale, as much of the back bend as you can in, get in there. Exhale, forward fold. Look halfway up, inhale. Jump back. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Just step the right foot forward, Virabhadrasana one. Breathe, five, four, three, Two and one. Chaturanga Vinyasa. So we got to do this a lot of times. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Mm -hmm. 
downward dog, exhale. There's no lifting, step. Step your left foot forward, Virabhadrasana one. Line it up, lift, five. Four. Three, three. Two. Inhale, exhale, one, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Sure, upward facing dog, feel it, love it. Downward facing dog, exhale. Hold your downward facing dog, and may I suggest grabbing the edges of your mat. And that's not traditional, but it will save you. It will help you calm down. Use Ujjayi. Two more breaths. On the next one, prepare yourselves to jump, bend your knees, inhale, exhale, jump it forward. Straighten out your legs. Please look halfway up, inhale, exhale, stretch back down. Now look back, look back, don't look forward, look back at your own legs. Standing all the way up, inhaling, prayer position. Two more rounds. Focus. Utkatasana. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stand up, inhale. As much of a back bend as you like. Exhale, forward fold. Look halfway up, inhaling. Prepare yourselves. Jump back, chaturanga, upward facing dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Yay, just step your right foot forward, Virabhadrasana one. Line it up, lift five, four, three, two, Inhale, exhale, chaturanga vinyasa. Please put both feet down. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Please don't do the floaty legs all the time. Step the left foot forward. See, there's a, such a thing as this beautiful primary series. Sit in five, concentrate. Four, tailbone down. Three, belly button in, broaden the chest. Look up, two, inhale, exhale, plank. Please put both feet down, chaturanga. Please learn how to handle chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhaling, yeah. Downward dog, exhale, we'll talk about that later. Some of my students know. All of that floaty leg stuff, I think people are just avoiding push-ups. Breathe here, three, two, get yourself ready if you're jumping. On one, bend your knees, jump forward, straight legs forward, fold. Look halfway up, inhaling, press back down, down, way down, way down. Way down. Standing all the way up, inhale. Prayer position, nice. Utkatasana, five. Work with me, four, work on it. Three, see me trying to sit lower, trying to figure that out. Two, how to get down. You won't lift as high. High or low, inhale, exhale. As much back bend as you like, forward fold. Look halfway up, inhaling. Prepare and jump, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Yes, yes, yes. Down dog, exhale. Step the right foot forward, Virabhadrasana one. Yes, breathe, five. Four. 
We're trying to sit down in this one, two, three. My feet this close. Two and one. Chaturanga. No, no, no. I love it. I love it. Upward facing dog. Inhaling. Uh-huh. Down dog. Exhale. Step the left foot forward. Here we draw some one. Five. Sitting. Four. Drawing. The pub is forward. Three. Yes. Two. Calm yourselves. Inhale. Exhale. Plank. Wonderful. Chaturanga. Up dog. Inhaling. Down dog, exhale. Hold here, five. Now those of you who have an inversion practice, you can take that. Four. See how I'm standing wider? Three, I want to find something different in these long holds. Two. And one. You know, I think we didn't stretch the left hamstring. So believe it or not, let's just go back to the beginning of that. Yes, yeah, so step your right foot forward. Yeah, right foot. Go ahead, right foot. Find your block. Right hamstring stretch. Yeah, just to get us back into the other track. Yeah, so I have an intro track and then these sun salutes. Look, I'm going to keep my hands on the block. Push up. Step the right foot back, long and straight. I'm up on my toes. Left leg is straight, forward, right into the hamstring stretch. Take it a little bit lower if you like. Five, four, feels good to get warmed up. Three, two, and one. So, so good, downward dog. Please make a plank pose, turn towards me, you're going to bend your knees and sit all the way down, hello, yeah, make your right leg straight, pull your left foot way on top, sit up, pull your right hand in a little closer to you, side plank in the tree pose, push up, five, Four, three, two, downward facing dog on one. Right leg lift and downward dog, step the right foot forward. Prasarita Padottanasana, Prasarita C. Arms over the back, five. Well, stretch, breathe, four, you gotta figure out how to get your hands going towards the floor. Three, almost feels like you're gonna fall forward. Two, and one. Hands to the floor, turn to the left. Yeah, down the dog. Beautiful. Make a, bend your knees, turn towards me. Have a seat, all the way down. Yeah, I think sometimes in vinyasa classes, we don't believe that we can sit like on the floor, which is what I love about Ashtanga. So, so what people hate about Ashtanga is that, la that last 40 minutes of seated work. So you always gotta wonder, why is it in the modern classes no one can do a seated pose? It's kind of weird, especially since we spend so much time sitting downward facing dog. Left leg is lifted. Step forward lunge. Prasavita Padottanasana, Prasavita C. Yes, five. Four, three. Look at my hands. Look, my, my palms aren't apart and my arms aren't bent. Look, they're straight with the palms together. So you gotta work on that. And one, hands to the floor, downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Walk your hands back to your feet. Come on now, look halfway up, inhaling. Press back down, 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 exhale. Stand up. 
Hands on your hips and face me. Mm, that second half of Ashtanga primary, just the prim all the seated work. If you only worked on that, all the standing stuff would be so much better. All right, you're gonna bring the right foot up and tree. Figure out, figure out the balance issues here. Four breaths, you can put your hands wherever you like. Three, just get nice and steady on your left leg. F2, you're gonna need that later, steadiness. Yes, and one, that foot comes down. Easy peasy, but let's just make sure we got it. Bring your left foot. I always use my hands to bring the foot into position. Five, don't assume it's gonna go there on its own. Four, look at the amount of bend in the knee. Three, and the slight downward slope. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Breathe, and one, hands on the ankles and relieve the pose. Right side, virksasana. So I always think virksasana is where the uh, foot is crossed over the thigh. So virksasana, those of you with um, the binding, the half-bound lotus, please take it. Five, four, you can do whatever you want with the other hand, and you can take the forward fold if you like. Three, but look at the downward slope of this knee. Two, mm -hmm. and on one, relieve the pose. Half-bound lotus, virksasana, ankle crossover on the left side. Bring it up, breathe, five, the binding, right? Four, where is it? Three, you've been quarantined for several re weeks now. Two, where's the binding? One, okay? And relieve the pose, bring it down, arms overhead, inhale. Hands on your hips, exhale. Parjvo, Udhiti, Hastas Parangustasana. Mm, rock and roll. See that right knee's gonna go out. I'm gonna point it out to the side already. I'm gonna grab the big toe, of course. Extend the legs sideways and the other arm, five. Look up, lift up, four. Three, you can look over there to the left if you want, yeah. Two, one, bend it in and release. Arms overhead, inhale. Hands on your hips, yeah. Parjvo. Uthiti, Hostas Panagustasana. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, Parshvo, Uthiti, Hostas Panagustasana. It's so wonderful to meet you. Five. And stretch the arms out. Four. You can look over there to the right. Three. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Two. Mm -hmm. Bring it in. Put it down. Arms overhead. Inhale. Hands to the floor. Well, you're gonna get your hands just a little bit ahead of your mat and jump your feet wide. Mm -hmm. Let's do that eight times, in and out, in and out. Here we go, in and out, that's one. In and out, that's two, in and out, that's three, in and out, that's four, four more, in and out, it doesn't have to be big, three and out, two more, two and out, one more, one and out, turn to the right side, plank, chaturanga vinyasa, por favor. Urdhva Mukha Shivanasana is upward dog inhaling. Adho Mukha Shivanasana. Shivanasana. Downward facing dog, hold the pose. Great. Make a plank. Bend your knees, face me, have a seat. Straighten out your left leg. You're going to grab your right big toe. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, you're gonna grab your, your left big toe, sorry. Your right hand, gotta get it in close. This is Vashistasana. 
push. As you push, extend the leg. Five. You must actually firm yourself. Four. I'm not thinking about stretching. Three, I'm thinking about firming myself. Two and one. Downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Right leg lift, please. Step forward, lunge. Prasarita Paratanasana. Turn to the left, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Inhale, big toes together. Downward dog, exhale. Mm -hmm. Okay, make a pose. Soft bend the knees, come on down. Yeah. Straighten out your left leg. Put your right foot on top. Now, you gotta get your left hand in closer. These poses don't work out if your left hand is over there. You gotta bring it in closer. Grab your right big toe, take a breath. Vashastasana, push. Vashastasana. Up five. Firm yourself, four. Breathe, three. Stretch, two, firm. Yes? And one, downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. So good, so good. Let's stay facing this way. And everybody lift your right leg. You'll do it, right leg, I'll do right leg as well. Step forward into the lunge, you're working on splits again. Any kind of splits. And why? Because even if you wanna do arm balances, the secret to the arm balances is not the arms. It's the ability for your legs to go where you intend them to go. Breathe here, five. Any kind of work on splits, breathe. Four, look at how I'm pushing back. Now watch this little ditty that I do. Three, look, I'm gonna grab this mat and pull myself back. Two, I'm actually trying to mm, get my ribs back. And one, downward dog. Your left leg is going to lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step forward in the lunge. We're all working on splits with the left foot forward. All right, now give me eight counts. Seven. Breathe, breathe. Six. Give it time. Give it time. Yo, five. Look at, the, look at what I'm doing back here. Four. Grab, pull, back. Three. Get your ribs back. Two, yep, and one. Downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. So, so good. Let's stay facing this way. I hope it's working for you. We're gonna take a little bit of a jump through and go immediately to boat pose, Navasana. So I'm backing up a little bit. Okay, bend the knees, look forward, jump through, and go right to Navasana. Okay, five, four, three, concentrate, two, and a one. Cross the right or left in front, doesn't matter, you're gonna roll, jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Work it out, kids, downward dog, exhale. Okay. Hold your downward dog. Let's just do that one again. And uh, we have about 15 more minutes to go. And then I'm gonna run and put this onto YouTube. And then uh, y'all out there are gonna help me get to 1,000 1, subscribers. <laughs> For real? Let's do it. All you gotta do is do it. Yeah, all you gotta do is do it. Right? You're going to bend your knees and jump through to Navasana. you got to slip your feet through. Whoops, bring them up. Navasana, five. Four. Three. And if you want to grab the feet and pull the legs in, there's a lot of stuff we can do here. There is. Two, I like it. And one, bend in. Forward fold. Paschimottanasana. <laughs> Five is four breaths. Nice and long hands out in front. Three, two, yep, 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 and one.
coming up tree on you, like a pot of Paschimottanasana, your right foot goes back. You can use a blanket. Five counts, set the position, arms overhead, inhale. Oh, forward fold. Okay, this is a hard position for you. Talk to me. Uh, let me help you. Three, right? Don't, don't go alone. Two, don't go alone on some of these poses. They're not advanced poses. This is not advanced. And one, come on up, inhale, changing sides. So I want you get, to get out of the mindset of this pose is or isn't advanced. Don't, don't even go there. Because what you're going to do is you're going to convince yourself that you're not an advanced practitioner. See how your mind is going to go? So what you're going to do is you're going to name it, name and form. My yogi philosophers out there know, know how this goes with name and form. And once you have attached name and form, then you have an attachment to an idea. No, no, we're not doing that. I'm not going to do that. And bring it up, inhale, cross, roll back, roll forward, chaturanga. Cross, roll forward, jump, chaturanga, upward dog, and downward dog. Hey now, hey now. Soft bend the knees, look at the way that I back up and jump through Navasana. That was a better one. Legs out, arms out, five. Chest up, shoulders back. Four, mm -hmm. three, yep, two, and one. Bend the knees. Now we're going to face each other a little bit. Let's get your right leg out and your left foot in. Yep. Dhanus, your sasana. Turn your body towards the right. Hold onto your right calf and ankle. And then draw both elbows down. Now I don't mind you're looking forward. Because my students know that it has nothing to do with getting your head to your knee, and I know it's so tempting. The tighter you are, just know this, just admit it to yourself, that the tighter your muscles are, yes, you're very, very far from realizing what is needed. So what you got to do first is realize what is needed. What's needed is, is for you to lengthen your spine. Now, folks who have a little bit more mobility, are closer to realizing the geometry. And Justin had a session with me last week and we did talk about geometry, physics, energy, lines. So don't get far away, changing sides. The right foot comes in. You talking about your hip sockets, which are designed to be tight. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to walk. So how are you going to be as flexible as you think you should be, which there's, there's really no realization that I should be this or I should be that. So what it is, you are where you are. And then there's this thing, geometry. And so where is your geometry? Where can you take your lines? Where you three, some folks can go lower. Two, and even if I go lower, am I rounding my back? Yes, I am. Sure, of course, at some point it rounds off. And one, come on up. But it rounds off after it lengthens, yeah? Upavishta konasana. Legs out wide. So I'm going to go not as wide as I could. You can hold on to your ankles or your feet. See the bend in the elbows? And it's your chin that's going down. Five. We're going to do it twice. Four. So the first time I'm not going to take it as low. Three or as wide. Two, look at the elbows are bending though. And when I'm gonna come up, inhale, place the hands behind you. Open this up. Now I'm gonna set wider. Set your legs wider. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk, push them out. Yeah, wider. Take the pose, the stretch as far down as you would like. I hold onto the feet or the ankles. Five, four, Three, mm. Upa Vishta Konasana. Two, yep, yep, yep. Oh, so good. Oh, wow, that's a good one. And one. Right on, come on up. Let's everybody face the right side of the room. Roll back, roll forward. Chaturanga Vinyasa, yeah? 
Roll back. Yeah. Roll forward. Plank. Jump. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Inhale in. And downward dog. Exhale. I love it. Bend your knees all the way down to the mat. Sit back in Virasana. Mm -hmm. So I want to get to a couple of poses as we start to get close to the end. Uh, camel pose. Um, crown chasana. Crown chasana. Starts with a K. Look it up. Uh, Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing bow. Okay. And um, let's go ahead and look at Salamashir Sasana and a couple of other things that we start to close out. So camel pose, we're going to do it three times. Those of you who want to take it to Urdhva Dhanurasana, folks like Amy, Allison out there, you know what I'm talking about. So we're here in camel. Yeah. Lift up. Place your hands on your feet, flat. Then push your hips forward, five. You don't even have to look at the wall behind you at first four, because what you need to open is this track, right in here, three, from your knees to the base of your ribs. Two, that's what we want to open. And one, downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. If you want Chaturanga Vinyasa, take it. But uh, I tend to start to drop that out once we're heated up and spend a lot of time in the last 20 minutes of the class looking at some specialty poses. Come on down again. This is going to be your second camel. And I'm going to turn this into a slant. So this is what I call a slant. Five. Four. Three. See, I'm not back bending. Two. And one. We bring slant up. Downward facing dog or Chaturanga Vinyasa. It's up to you. Focus. I'm going to take my next and final camel into Urdhva Dhanurasana. Hey, somebody on there uh, a couple of weeks ago went all the way. She did the whole wheel. She put that on her Instagram story. She was like, oh, and she just went all the way to standing up. To do it, just remember, you got to do one important thing. Super, super important. You've got to tuck your feet. You can't do it with pointed toes. got to tuck your feet. I always go from the slant, eight, seven. Add the back bend, six. Add the arms, five. Fall back, push with your feet. Four, three, two, one. In order to bring it back, you have to think about Supta Virasana. A little bit of Supta Virasana, downward facing dog. Step back, breathe. Wonderful. Marvelous. Bend your knees down to the mat. Let's look at Crown Chasana. To get there, you're going to sit towards me, off on your left side, straighten out your right leg like you're going to do Triyanga Kapata Pashimottanasana again. Mm -hmm. But this time, we're going to sit back on our elbows and chill for a moment and examine. Let's examine. And I went over this with Sam in an online private yoga session, so I'm doing that. And we were talking about, why is my knee up? Okay, because this hip is tight. And then when he put his knee down, he's like, why is my back arched? And I'm like, because this hip is tight. <laughs> so we just did a lot of sorting that out. You have to tuck the pelvis. You have to try to get your knees together. There's a little bit of an idea of an internal rotation of your left leg. You can lie all the way back if you want to. You don't have to. It's just that if you lie back, make sure you don't have all this space there. There's no reason to lie back until you have the idea that you're actually just trying to lie down flat with one foot tucked underneath you. So you don't have to go all the way back. I use my elbows to push up. This is your left leg, so you're going to lean all the way back. Uh, sorry, lean back on your right elbow. So twist away from me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Your left hand is going to grab your right foot. 
and then climb up the ladder. Climb up. Crown Chasana. Five. Uh -huh. Four. Three. Crown Chasana. Two. Yeah, you can take the reverse hand grip. It's there for you. And one. That's your right foot. Please cross your right foot over the top of your left hip bone. Ooh. I forget the name of this pose, but I love it. It's in Ashtanga primary as well. I love this pose. You can take the binding five. Four is gonna be turning away from you, yes? Three. The binding. Two. Grabbing that foot. And one, release. Shake the legs out straight in front of you. If you want to roll back, roll forward. Take Chaturanga Vinyasa, do that. I'm gonna give my legs a rub down just because we're coming down to towards the end. So if you're doing the Vinyasa, you're jumping through, rolling through, and leading us up back here. Good. Take your right foot, tuck it back behind you. Leave your left leg out long and straight. Right, sometimes I call this um, Arda, Arda Virasana. So Arda means half. That's not a legitimate uh, name of the position, but it's somewhere between Triyami Ekapada Paschimottanasana and Arda, um, Arda Supta Virasana. So you can always make up your own Sanskrit because it's just descriptive. Five. You can lay it all the way back if you want. Four, be all right with me. Three, but we are trying to sort out that you wanna get your sacrum down on the mat. Two, so try to draw the pelvis forward. And one, come on up. It's gonna be now your left elbow. You wanna lean back on your left elbow. Use your right hand to grab your left leg. So that's gotta come up. Then you're gonna use that leg to sit up, like, oh, snap, oh, okay, <laughs> you just sit up. Then draw the leg to you, five, right, four, good, three. Yeah, there's a lot of detail to the pose. You're looking up to, trying to get a vertical leg, it's true. And one, now, take that foot, it's your left foot, Cross it up and over the top of your right hip bone. The binding. Goes around, you're twisting towards me this time. Five. Yeah, oh, just love this pose. Trying to look back towards your left. Three, three. If somebody knows the name of this pose, I always forget this one. Type it in, write it to me. Use your Instagram, try to find it. So good, Baddha Konasana, please, soles of the feet together. Let's just draw down once. Inhale, exhale, splay the knees wide, bring the body down, it's all grace, grace and humility. Way down, five, four, three, two, And one, extend the legs out. So we're not gonna get to some on the sheer sasana. Let's just do some good finishing poses. Roll back to plow, halasana. Oh, so good. Fingertips up. Um, usually when we get to the last five minutes or so of the online classes, many of you have poses that you just must get into. Now I was working with Mr. Shepard uh, yesterday. And uh, I was like, well, you don't need pigeon, you need ego. So sometimes the finishing poses are specific to restoring the body and different bodies need different restoration. Let's go into Sarvangasana, breathe, focus, eight. Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, kind of keep Dasa as you next. Knees to the ears, just briefly. I like to hold on to the outside of the thighs and get my elbows to the floor. And that way I can control the descent. Tailbone coming down. Happy baby's pose. Hold on to your ankles instead of your feet so your knees can get nice and wide apart. Rock the cradle just a teeny bit. Bring the feet in. Well, go ahead, uh, twist your knees to the left and look to the right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So Saturday, we're getting ready to go into another week of challenge, quarantine, social disruption. Hmm. You can do it. You're going to make it. Take your knees to the right, look to the left. So all you got to really do is just kind of figure out who you are and what you're doing. Take care of your family. Good. Roll onto your right side towards me. Press yourself sitting all the way upright. And that's going to be it for us. So, okay, so I'm going to go and post this. I'm going to go into my website and change that. Well, for time now, for a little while now, we still need to remain on Facebook. It's going nice on Fridays at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Fridays at 1. That's going to be Instagram. So that worked out nicely. And I'll continue to post these Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday classes on YouTube so you can get to them. Sorry we can't get the horizontal going, okay? Hands together in prayer. I miss you all so much. And uh, we are together. We've always been together. Okay. The light in me sees and recognizes the light in you. And for that we say namaste.